Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm working on some uh, heating grate panel covers uh, for a, a local elementary school. I teamed up with a, a native artist here, or I guess he teamed up with me, and um, so I took his design and cut it out on the on the CNC plasma table. So today I'm just um, finishing up grinding off the uh, dross off of that and getting them ready to powder coat and hopefully I'll have them in the oven uh, this afternoon. Uh, so just thought you might be curious to see how things are going with the oven and, uh, and what I'm putting it to use with. So. So now that I've got all the dross and the rough edges off of these guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and string them up onto the rack and do the, the final cleaning and prep work on the rack uh, so that I don't have to handle them after I do that. Um, and they can just be uh, coated right there uh, once I'm done cleaning them up. So The next step, I'm going to take this uh, just Scotch Bright and Scotch Bright and Simple Green, and just degrease it that way. It's amazing, even after hitting it with that uh, flap disc, how dirty stuff is. Um, how much grime I still get off of uh, these work pieces before I coat them. You see how gross that metal still is. So all that stuff would have been under the coating and just would have made it a lot weaker. So the next step, I'm gonna take some acetone um, and I'll glove up for this one just to keep my finger oil from getting on it. And uh, then I'll hit it with the torch and it'll be ready to start coating. So I'm finally ready to spray some powder onto this thing. Um, I just use this respirator, and another thing I found really helpful is a is a headlamp, um, just to always have good lighting on what I'm looking at and see how the um, what kind of thickness I'm looking at. So as you can see, I've got these all coated up but uh, and ready to go in the oven. But I came over to adjust the temperature on the oven and there was smoke pouring out of this hole here, which uh, I assumed correctly is a never good sign. And as you can see, that terminal is pretty charred up and I think that stranded wire um, 
I think it's six gauge stranded wire uh, is apparently not doing the trick. Um, it's getting getting really hot. I'm I'm concerned though because I don't know, you know, why this hasn't happened before. So I'm concerned that something else is shorting out. The relay still seems to be working correctly. Um, so I'll let you know what I figure out here. So I spliced uh, another wire in there and it held up just fine through the curing process. So I've got these done now. Rolling. <laughs> really good from where I'm standing. Nice. A long time coming. This project. Good coming. Yeah, there we go. around nice that's some gold footage right there sweet